YouTube, what is going on? Let's talk about all the new fish, bugs, and sea creatures that you need to catch that are now available in March. Uh, if you guys find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Also, if you drop a like, drop a comment, I'd greatly appreciate that as well. But with that, let's hop right into the Critterpedia and talk about what's new this month. First up, we have the yellow butterfly. As you can see, it is available March through June, and then again in September and October. This butterfly is found, like most butterflies, just flying around the map, and it is available from 4 a.m. until 7 p.m. Next up, we have the tiger butterfly, which will be available March through September, and it is also, just like every other butterfly, flying around the map. It is caught from 4 a.m. until 7 p.m. as well. Next up, we have the peacock butterfly, uh, these are, tend to spawn around darker colored flowers like blue and purple and black ones. These do spawn from March through June and again from 4 a.m. until 7 p.m. So keep an eye out for the butterflies. They are back in season now. Next up we do have the mantis. They make a return March through November. The mantis are found standing on flowers and they are available from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Uh, the Orchid Mantis is also, just like the regular Mantis, March through November, standing on flowers, and it is available from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. as well. Next up, we have the Honey Bee. This is available March through July. It's just found flying around, usually near flowers, just like a lot of the other bugs. Uh, it is available from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. A lot of these bugs are caught in the middle of the day. But let's go ahead and find the next one, which is the Stink Bug. There it is. Stink bug is available March through October. Again, this is caught on flowers. Good news is the stink bug is available all day long. Similarly, the man face stink bug available also March through October. Um, caught on flowers just like the other stink bug. However, this one is caught later at night from 7 p.m. until 8 a.m. So keep an eye out for this one when you're playing in the evenings. The last bug that is available in March or starting to begin be available in March is the ladybug. It is available March through June, then again in October. It is available to be caught from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. So keep an eye out for all these bugs. Let me know which ones you haven't caught yet. I'd love to know. Next up, we move to the fish. First up, we have the tadpole. The tadpole makes its return. March through July is when it's available. They are caught in ponds. Uh, it is a smaller shadow if you need the exact shadow shot size. I do have videos for all of the different fish. Uh, good news too on the tadpole, it is caught all year round, or all day long, sorry, not all year round, all day long. Um, so just at your convenience, when you can grab a tadpole, make sure you grab one. Next up we have the loach. Shorter window to catch this in terms of seasonality, available March through May. Again, smaller shadow, they are caught in the rivers and they can be caught at all times during the day. Next up, we have three very tough fish to catch. Actually, two of these are. The cherry salmon is the one who isn't that hard to catch, but it's still somewhat difficult. The cherry salmon is available March through June, and then again September through November. It is caught in the rivers on the clifftop, meaning it has to be either on the second or the third level of your town or your island, and it needs to be in a river on those elevated surfaces. Also, the cherry salmon is caught from 4 p.m. until 9 a.m. Next up we have the char. This is one of the hardest fish to catch in the game. Uh, the char is available March through June, then again September through November. It is caught in the rivers that are on the cliff tops, and it is available to be caught from 4 p.m. until 9 a.m. Next up we have the golden trout. Again, one of the most difficult fish to catch in the game. March through May, September through November, that is the seasonality for this fish. Again, clifftop rivers, just like the cherry salmon and the char. You're going to be one fishing in the same spot for the golden trout, and at the same times as they all have the same active hours and location, the golden trout is 4 p.m. until 9 a.m. The last fish that is available starting in March is the barred knife jaw, and it is available March through November. It is caught out at sea. These actually sell for some decent bells, so if you're trying to catch fish, uh, I think these sell for like 2,500 bells, not bad. Um, and then lastly, they are caught all day long, so they're, they're not bad. They're, they're a good fish. Um, it's like a medium-sized shadow. They shouldn't be too difficult to catch, though. Lastly, we have 
five new sea creatures that are going to be available this month. First, we have the Turban Shell, March through May, September through December, available all day long. Again, don't think these are too terribly difficult to catch, uh, but make sure you get one. Next up, we have the Chambered Nautilus, March through June, then again, September through November. These are available and active from 4 p.m. until 9 a.m. I do remember this being one of the more difficult sea creatures to catch. Next up, we have the Umbrella Octopus, which is available March through May and September through November. Again, this one is available all day long, so not as difficult to catch as, let's say, the Chambered Nautilus. Next up, we have the Firefly Squid. This one's actually kind of a pain to catch because it's you have to catch it at such late hours. But it is available March through June, and you catch it from 9 p.m. until 4 a.m. So you are going to have to play later at night to get the Firefly Squid. I remember that one took me a little while to get. And lastly, the Spider Crab, which is honestly one of the coolest uh, sea creatures in the game, in my opinion. When you put it out, it has these super long arms, as you can see in the photo. But it's available March and April. It is available all day long. Again, this one did take me a while to catch, but uh, this one's super cool. It's probably my favorite sea creature of all of them. So that is all the new bugs, fish, sea creatures that are available in March. Make sure you keep an eye out for them. Make sure you get them to fill out your Critterpedia. Let me know in the comments if you have completed your Critterpedia or what fish and bugs and sea creatures you're still waiting to catch. But with that, good luck, and uh, hope you all... Have a ton of fun catching all the critters.